I could add this easily if I wanted some more iron, but right now I think I'm okay. I'm going to take away this, uh, this waypoint. I'm going to remove it because I don't need it anymore. All right, here we go. Let's go, tractor. Here comes the iron. Man, the, the Mark II is fast. This is my first assembly line with Mark II conveyor belt. Oh, God. That rock really did a number on my tractor. Almost died, everybody. Almost died. My, my outfit, by the way, is sweet. Like, my pants are super chunky. I feel great. If I fell off, if I had to jump off this tractor when it was going at its top speed of uh, 51 kilometers per second or whatever I've got going on here, I could totally do a tuck and roll and be okay with these khakis. These are industrial khakis. All right. Now what I want to do is just take this conveyor belt and we're going to need to split it. <laughs> People, it would be unbelievable. But it, it would just... It would feel so strange to have straight conveyors. You're right. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just take this conveyor belt. But I'm going to keep it at... Uh, I'll go mark one from here. This is fine. <laughs> you got that right. They sure do. And we got it in there, everybody. And here it comes. Let's get this baby going. Now, this foundry. We want steel ingots. Okay. So here it comes. So this thing is going to produce four, uh, three, 45 per minute. And it's... <laughs> Adam, good evening. Oh man, I don't wear a seatbelt at all. I'm the most unsafe. I have a hard hat on though, you know, in case there's a real accident. But luckily... That hasn't yet been an issue. Uh-oh, where's my... I think there might be a hitch in my giddy-up. Oh, no, here it comes. Okay, great. So this is... So let me... Let's talk... Let's walk through this, guys. Go slow. Go slow. This needs 45 iron and 45 coal per minute. And I'm currently giving it... Um... 60 per minute with one sp with uh with the mark 1. Now, if I split this 120 three ways, it will go 40 per minute, so it won't be optimal, but it'll be pretty good. And so I'm going to do that. So here's what I'm going to try to do. Oh god, Captain Duck, I've already bought two. I've already bought two on the sale, and I don't want to do any more because I'm terrified that I'll do more. Alright, I'm going to build another foundry. What about you guys? Let me ask... That's a great question, Captain Duck. Let's talk to all of you guys. How many games... Has anybody made any summer sale purchases on the, the Steam summer sale? You, or do you guys plan to? Or are you avoiding it at the moment. There's one. Let me build one more. Boom. All right. So, here we go. And now, I think it might be also fun. <laughs> that is awesome, Alex. Good for you, getting some Tales of Agile. That's great. That game is so much fun. Been having a blast with it, my friend. I think what I want to do now, everybody, is try out the warehouse. So I want to build the bigger storage container because I can build, uh, like, a jumbo storage container. Oh, no, wait. No, I can't. Never mind. I have to research that. I think I'm trying to get there, but I haven't figured that out yet. You're going to pick up some later this week, Grim. Fantastic, my friend. Not yet, Nick. I like your patience, Nick. 
I, I can barely contain myself. Like, I have to really, really do a good job. Oh, man. When I first started Alex at Tome, I also died so many times. It's, it's the way of it. All right. So there we go. We're making steel. Okay, now it's time to finish this up. So I'm going to put the coal in here like that. And I'm going to put the coal in here like that. We've got coal going in. <laughs> Distro, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Oh, man, Distro, I am like you. That's what I'm saying, man. I my backlog of steam games is cataclysmic like there are so many games and i buy them on sale or i get them on the humble bundle and then i just forget that i have them and yet i still buy more games like sometimes you know i just it's ridiculous okay so that's going in there now what i want to do is i'm going to start merging this but i want to merge it or split it rather but i want to do that uh, at the when it's Mark II. Okay. Fantastic. There it goes. Splitting it. And I'm going to take this one. And Feeple, look away. We're about to crisscross our conveyor belts so badly. Don't even ask how this is working. But it is. Oh, man. Hey, Captain Duck, I love your dilemma. I'm with you, my friend. I don't have the the great Ace Attorney yet, but I'm looking at that, and it looks awesome. And I definitely want Core Keeper at some point. I was going to pick up Core Keeper, but then it was like, I'm always hesitant when it's only 10% off. I know it's like $12, but I'm like, come on, man. Like, you got to give me a little bit more of a discount. I don't know. That's a, I know that's really greedy, but... I like to have, like, when it's 50% or something like that, then I'm like, oh, God, I'm, I'm powerless. But 10%, I'm like, ah, I can skip that. A do 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 Oh, well, that's good. That's good, people. At least it's not the worst. I know, little Timmy. I'm the exact same way. Like, when I was growing up, th the games were released so with so much less frequency, and they were so expensive that it, I never had too many games to play. I was always, like, looking for people in the neighborhood that I could buy a game off of. And even if the game sucked, you know, it was like some Nintendo game that just sucked, I still want, like, would take it because I, you know, I didn't have anything else. I had no choice. And, or like, sometimes my grandma would give me, like, a game for Christmas, and, you know, she doesn't know. She's just buying stuff, and it would be terrible. But I'd be like, well, we've got nothing else to play. Here we go, with some awful game. All right, here we come, iron. People, I do, I do. See, that's my, my kind of sale, people. All right, let's see. Let's see, everybody, how we doing, how we doing? Look at this, look at all these iron, or steel ingots. I'm sorry, I keep saying iron. All right, so now what we need are pipes. So you make pipes in what, a foundry? Let me look for this. No, that's not the right thing. Go here. Go in here. Talk to me, steel steel pipe. This is what I need. This is made in a constructor. Oh, okay, never mind. No. Constructor. Oh yeah, that's right. The foundry is for two ingots together to be smelted into a, another one, which is what I have over here. These are foundries. I need the constructor. All right. So I'm going to just build myself a constructor. And I can just actually, like, throw it, like, right there. Aww. Don't give me that invalid shape. Invalid shape, invalid... Sh 
I thought I was using the control click to line you up. All right, here we go, here we go. That looks good, that's gotta be right. Please tell me that shape is right. It's right. All right. Now, here's another idea I have, everybody, while we're at this stage. There's so many ideas, and I get so distracted. I'm such a mess, but I'm going to potentially build some central location where all of my finished goods go so I can just run over there and find everything instead of having to run around my factory. So when this constructor, I'm gonna, I need to set the recipe for this and I need to give it power. Um, we want steel pipes and we're gonna have to hook you up to something. Uh, I need to build another pole, no problem. Let's check our grid really fast. We're still doing great. So now, like when this is done, it's going to start sent putting out pipes. But maybe I want to start building my dream place. But to get there, I really, really want to have better storage containers first. And so let me see. I just need 200 pipes and we'll be there. That's no problem. So let's wait for that. Because the storage containers I can build right now aren't aren't the best. They're too small. All right, what do we got? How much do we got? We got 16. Yeah, yeah, let's do some more. All right, so I'm just going to line up another one right here. And... Uh-huh. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I can get started on it. I can get started on building out where I want this to happen. Okay. This is not moving because this storage con box is full. And that's another thing, right? Where it's like... I've already filled up. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, build an overhang here. Uh, with this. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and go to a uh, different build mode. We're going to go to zoo. And we're going to build this here. And zoo. Kind of wish I could build like a square, but I guess not. Oh, I'm out of concrete. Imagine that. Well, we can go help this situation by taking a bunch of this concrete. So this is full. Uh, give me all the concrete you've got. All of it. And this is all like Katerium ingots. Yeah, it's sad. Okay. So now... The plan is to use this entire floor here and just make storage central. I can safely build this over my coal power plants. Um, that's a great question, people. Probably next week, my friend. I think I'm, I'll be out of material at that point. Oh no, I fell through the earth. Oh, that's embarrassing. Get me out of here. All right, I'm going to have to go down. Right, I'm going to fill this in. That can't ever happen to me again. Okay. I fell through the underside of my factory. That's... Boy, that's embarrassing. Okay. Um... Luckily... With the clipping issue, there's no problem. Okay. All right, so we have this giant area, and I'm going to keep building it. Let me build one more piece right... No, that's good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build this here. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
yep, if I beat the game, I definitely will be interested in trying that out. All right. Okay. So now we have a huge workspace up here. And we can start bringing in as many storage containers as we can think of. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just have a storage container that's like right here. And this is just going to be, you know, storage container central. And then we can get serious. Oh, you know what, um, Captain Duck? I love Valkyria Chronicles, my friend. Um, I've beaten the first two Valkyria Chronicles, Captain Duck, and then I beat the, uh, the one for the PSP, and I have Valkyria Chronicles 4 for my Nintendo Switch. But I haven't been playing it as much as I should. I'm going to build a uh, merger onto this line. I'm going to go logistics, and we're going to put a merge right here. Like that. And then this way, I can just say... <laughs> Look at that. That's hilarious. It's happening. Oh, awesome, Captain Duck. Yeah, I love those games, because you're right. It is like XCOM, but it has this... The, the Valkyria Chronicles game have a really cool, like... You know, World War II kind of vibe, although they have uh, superhero, Val, you know, Valkyrie characters, but then it's got this cel-shaded, cartoony graphics. They're great. Oh, I forgot to configure these. Oh, God, that's embarrassing. Look, there's only one thing you can make, so make it. Well, now they are. Okay. And let's see. Can I build another constructor? I'll build it, like, over here, I guess. Uh, let's just kind of do it, like... Yeah, that's fine. Hey. Jared, what is up, my friend? Good evening. Oh, that is awesome. I love that you are uh, passing it on. Well, I'm I'm older than your son, Jared, but it's my first time going through too, and it's so great to learn how to play that game and learn all the lore from people in the community. Actually, you know what? Thank you for watching. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm going to change this recipe. I don't have any steel beams being made, so let's make some beams. I don't know when I'm going to need those. And we're going to give this power. This needs power too. Oh god, I can't see. There you go. Power. And then I'll hook this up to its own storage container upstairs. So, Jared, one question I have for you, if you're still out there, is uh, when you're playing with your son, do you still have the character and the account from when you were a kid and you played, or did you both start new characters at the same time? I didn't know if you were, like, able to show off all your fat loots to your son, or if you're on an equal footing. Alright, I'm gonna go over here and drop this in there. Okay. So, 
this is where I want to understand how to customize these with, like, signs or something, right? I don't know if that's even possible, okay? But I'd love to know, like, okay, if I push customizer... And you could give your factory a new paint job. Like, maybe I could color them or something. Hey, hey. Dylan, good evening. What is up, my friend? Update 6 is fantastic. So, Grim and Little Timmy have been kind of uh, walking me through you know, some of the changes with the update, and I'm learning some of them, too, on the on the fly. Oh, that's awesome, Jared. You, you remembered your password? That is sweet. Oh, thank you, Jared. You have to research signs on the ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, because I wanted it to be like, you know, in Minecraft, I always like to put little signs by my, my storage boxes so I know what's going on. I'll do that. And then I was wondering maybe if I could just color code these by changing the paint job. But I don't know how obvious or not obvious the paint job is on from looking at the front. I also was like, where is my stuff going? Where did I send this? I gotta look. Alright. Here it goes. It's going in this one. Let me check this one. Alright, this one has... Ooh, it has all the pipe. I can go do this. Yeah, um... Oh, thank you, little Timmy. Yeah, see, what's going on with me, everybody, is... I mean, this is... You guys have been watching my YouTube series of this or watching me stream this game. Um, I have no idea, Jared. And that's the thing. I run around like a chicken with my head cut off in this game because there's just so many different things that I want to do. And I have little ideas all the time. Uh, but I'm going to, first of all, just go ahead and send this off. Milestone reached. So we Logistics got. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container. Now we got it. Conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. So now we got the An bigger project storage. Can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. All right, there it goes. Way off in the distance. Okay, so I can't really do much right now, but um. I can select another milestone. We did this one, which gave us... This is where we got access to um, potentially build some larger things. Now, if we build this one, we can get the bigger storage container, which I want. Uh, so I'm going to get that. I also want these hyper tubes because these sound hilarious. And the improved melee combat would be good for other things because you get more bag space and stuff like that. All right, so let's go check the awesome shop for signs. And, um, sign. Oh, here we go. So this is like a sign where you can, um, signs can be customized with different elements such as icons and text to improve factory organization. Perfect. And it takes some quartz and iron to do it. Okay, yeah. I'll add that to the cart. And then, let me get both sign types, just in case. Oh, wait, the bundle... Is the bundle... Label sign bundle and display sign bundle. Yeah, 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 let's go. Um, buy them all. Okay, good. Now... I think I have some coupons spitting out, maybe, over here. Yeah, print those coupons. Beautiful. We got, we got more. That is awesome, little Timmy. God, this is just one of those games where it's just... <laughs> it's so good and so deep, and all of the things that you can think of are happening and more. It's great. It's great, and it's a game that's so great to get to play with friends because they can help me through, you know, you guys just know the answer. So it's like, it's great. So I need 
Uh, do I have any... Um, here we go. Here's signs. And I don't have any crystal on me, so I'd have to get some. I don't think I'm mining crystal actively anywhere. So that's probably got to change. Oh, no, I have... I have... 12 raw quartz on me. And then I have, like, 51 more in here. Let me see about that, actually. Can I look for quartz like this? Yeah, I'm gonna need to get this mining. Alright. So, in the meantime... Let, uh, let's see if I can start putting up some signs and organizing this area. So, this one... Uh, oh, there they are on the map. Let me put these on the map. Um... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set a uh, marker way over here. And I'm going to label it and this, and we're going to highlight that stamp. So we're going to drive to that at some point, explore the map a little more, and, and start mining some quartz. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see. So pipes are coming in here, and next door is where the beams are going. Although the beams are having a problem. The beams look like they need something else and I'm not giving it to them. What do you need? They need 60... steel per minute. But you're not getting any steel, are you? Now what's going on over here? You have no power. Ouch. Ouch. That's embarrassing. Okay. I'm like, what's happening? How could there be a breakdown? Oh my god. Because I did it. Because I did that. Alright. And there's not even... I can't... You know what I can do, though? I think I can build a Mark II... I can work around this and cheese it by building a Mark II plant pole right here. And then just doing it that way. 